all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k hux nation and in today's video oh my <laughs> these are hard okay so we're on part three of the keyblade okay as far as i'm aware this is the last part for the the keyblade war cutscenes and everything okay uh later on once i have beaten all the foretellers and whatnot i'll post the video showing all the cutscenes in order and stuff uh but as of right now today's this at least this video is focused specifically on how to beat a said because jesus christ are the foretellers difficult and i'm gonna tell you right now that if you're a casual player you're most likely not going to be able to beat this this these these quests okay the foretellers because they're that hard um just for reference like i'm a i'm a i'm a really strong player i've been playing for multiple years now um might consider me as one of the best players in the game uh one of not the of course just just adding that stipula stipulation there's many other good players a lot of them better than me too um but i'm definitely up there and i i was able to barely <laughs> barely be a said so I'm just going to go through here with you guys, showing you how I did it, okay? Um, and from what I can tell, there's not really much room for variation as far as I can tell on how to beat, how to be, at least beat a set, uh, unless you just happen to have better equipment than I do, okay? So without further ado, we'll, we'll jump right into it. So of course, Master is said is at level 5,000. Now, even though he's at 5,000, I will point out that his defenses seem to be a little bit higher than what most people at level 5,000 tend to be. So, reading his description, okay, and what you probably found already if you've already been fighting him, is that he overrides your strength, he reflects power-based attacks, he will strike first, so before you even start your first turn, he will kill you, okay? <laughs> Immediate death before you even get started. Um, so you you have a very limited amount of turns you can actually like do this. Uh, he can he counterattacks when his counters reach zero and he starts off at three counters. So you'd, you're honestly not given very much wiggle room, and he he starts off around like nine million HP bars, which is insane. Now, I've tried to do this as much as possible using my sleeping line. My Sleeping Lion is like my best Keyblade right now because it has like all of the, mo the some of the best busted medals in the game at the moment. However, I could not beat him with Sleeping Lion for the life of me. So I tried Counterpoint instead and I was able to beat him with Counterpoint but just barely, which kind of kind of makes me think that you really do have to use a magic setup of some sort or at least use a setup where your best damage medals are magic based, okay? Um, that's the best thing I can think of. Uh, it is worth noting as well that most of my best medals are almost all of the latest tier 10 medal, because that's where all majority of almost all my damage is coming, okay? Um, just going through my equipment real quick and my medals. Okay, I'll give a quick cheat sheet right there. Literally everything in my setup has extra attack. That's important to point out. Literally everything has extra attack. Um, literally everything has minus 60 ground. Okay. And I was able to barely beat a said with a level 40 counterpoint. All right. These are all important <laughs> because chances are, if you're a if you're just an average player. You might have a really tough time trying to replicate what, what I was able to barely do. Um, now, pointing out, okay, so there was a few things that came into play when fighting a said. Um, it was a toss-up between trying to deal enough damage while also worrying about his counters, okay? So, after a while, I just decided, fuck counters, okay? I'm just gonna use a metal that just completely makes his counters irrelevant. So I decided to bust out a really old VIP medal from like, what, two years ago? One or two years ago or something like that? Really old uh, VIP medal called TR-18. Alright, 
this guy right here adds 10 counters. Now, there's probably some other medals out there that can still add, like, as long as you have a medal that can just add a ton of counters, that's all you need to worry about, okay? So I decided to put them in slot two because of the fact that slot two is, uh, is a reverse slot, so I'm not getting nearly as much value or whatever out of it and whatnot um and considering that counterpoint's mostly an upright setup so my gone my off. yeah so as long as you have something that just adds a, like a shit ton of counters that's all you need to worry about uh nominate ex plus is a possible option too if that's what you have um, even better if you have extra attack on whatever metal it happens to be so this is just what i use okay there's there's a few other vip metals like this that just add like a crap ton of counters on them this is just what I used. Uh, there's, there should be, I don't remember off the top of my head, but there should be some others too that are not VIP that also have quite a bit of counters. So just something that adds a ton of counters. Um, so that's what I did there. So after doing that, considering the fact that like almost all the foretellers and a lot of the latest tier 10 medals uh, don't have abilities that ignore or add counters, they do affect counters in other words, I needed something that was just like, I, I want to make counters irrelevant, so I use I use this. Okay, so from here on out, um, I use Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua to give me some of that strength buff, okay? Um, has extra attack. They all have extra attack and minus 60 ground, all right? So using her will give me plus 3,000 magic strength. And then I happened to pull an extra Ava while pulling from my era, so... Yeah, I ended up with this setup. <laughs> I know most of you are probably not going to be able to replicate this. I'm just showing what I did. Okay, you have to have some insanely like strong metals in order to do this. Uh, but I had two Avas. Both of them, like I said before, both of them have minus 60 ground uh, and extra attack. All right, so they're just they're just there for large amounts of damage. Um, and then at my pet slot, I have here at number 21 again. Minus 60 ground, extra attack. Yeah. So, from here on out, okay. Let's go back. I'll show you the friend metal that I used. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, but it, I'm just, I'm just showing what I used. I used a friend's Gula in order to beat this. I'm pretty sure I could probably do something else, but considering the fact that I can't use an Ased or Era for a friend metal just because of the fact that Master Ased uh, reflects power, it limits what type of tier 10 metals I can use as a friend metal. Okay? Now, in case any of you are wondering why the heck am I using Mars 3 Kyrie A, all right, even though she's power and Ased reflects power, well, that's because of the fact that because Ased's defense is just so freaking high, all right even if my Kyrie has extra attack she does no damage she literally does one and two damage okay one damage in the first cast two damage at the second cast even her supernova does no damage as well um consider if that's assuming you use it first okay um yeah so i can actually use kingdom hearts 3 Kyrie 8 in 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 your in my setup uh so i don't have to worry about like using some other random speed or magic metal that provides general strength. Uh, and okay, so you can still use Kyrie A uh, for your setups against this Ted. That's not a problem. Um, it's just any other actual damage metal that's power based that you can't use for your setup. That's the only situation. But you can still use Kyrie, which is nice. What I will state though is because of the fact that a set. Actually, we'll, we'll just jump into it so you can see it. Okay. Um, but I, I'm I'm using my friend's Google who also has minus 60 ground and extra attack. Okay, worth pointing out. So we're literally going decked out, completely decked out over here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and skip this uh, so there's no spoilers for anybody. All right, all right, so we're gonna go through this one by one. So like I mentioned before, he does kill you immediately before you even start your first turn, okay? Now, like I mentioned before as well, Kyrie over here, only does one damage on the first cast and two damage on the second cast, okay? Um, however, you don't have to worry about the fact that you're at one HP right now because of the fact that Kairi completely heals you first before you actually take damage. Uh, so you can actually just freely cast Kairi. Now I will point out, like I mentioned before, that Kairi Supernova 
does also do no damage at all whatsoever. It only does one damage. So, however, because of the fact that we start off at one HP at the very beginning of our turn, um, you don't want to use uh, Kyrie Supernova right here. Okay, you just want to go with the normal cast of Kyrie. It's also not that she also adds counter suit, which, which is helpful. All right, do that. Uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and use Kingdom 3 Aqua just so I can get that 280% guilt buff. Uh, it doesn't matter which of these I use as long as I just get that guilt buff. So I'm just going to use Aqua. And now because of the fact that I have QR18 here, I don't have to worry about counters at all whatsoever. I can literally, at this point, I can literally just let the rest of my setup run. Okay. Um, Aqua's getting me the magic buff. And we have Ava's going in for damage. QR21 for damage. And then we'll have Gula for damage. Okay, so now for this turn, what you will notice, what you will notice is that for every other turn, uh, a set will alternate between a small and big attack. For the turns that he does a small attack, such as this turn, for example, these are the turns when it's okay to actually use your Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, Kyrie's Supernova. Okay, remember, her supernova does one damage, and so as long as we have more than one HP, it's okay to use her supernova, which is on the small attack. Turn. So I'm going to go ahead and use it here, and then I'm going to follow it up with Gula. Okay, so now Gula's going to give me that 4500 extra uh, speed metal strength, uh, which will help out my KR21 and Gula himself, on top of the fact of getting the uh, metal strength buffs from both my Ava, okay, which also have extra attack on them. So, from this point onwards, I can just go ahead and let the rest of my setup run because of the fact that my Gula already provided the 280% uh, guilt buff from his supernova as well. So, I'm just going to let it run. Okay, so now he's going to do the big attack here. I die immediately. Now, I have to be really careful right here. Because of the fact that I'm already running low on some supernova metals, all of my, the rest, all of, uh, how do I word this? The rest of my supernovas, all of them reset counters. Okay, so I have to be careful here. So I have to make sure that I can still use Kyrie first, but I have to make sure I use my supernova before I use my QR18, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a uh, Ava here, okay? Okay. Recess the counter. Now I can go ahead and use my QR18 so that way it makes sure that I have a crap ton of counters. So I don't have to worry about uh, him running out by accident in the middle of my setup. Okay, so here he's going to use a small attack. Okay, we live. Again, same thing. Make sure I use it before PR18. Now I can go ahead and use PR18. Now this is the turn. Now this is my very last turn before I die or whatever. Okay, so I have to uh, do something specific. Okay, ready to use that. All right. So I only have one cast left of Gula. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my last. Supernova just for the extra bit of damage and then I can use Gula And there we go happy is said <laughs> Again, it's very difficult. I barely be a said doing this so and That's with like a fully maxed out Setup okay with like mostly tier tens um all of them have extra attack. All of them have minus 60 ground. I have a level 40 Keyblade. So it's quite literally, like I mentioned before, the normal casual player is not, most likely not going to be able to this be a set. It's just really hard. Uh, but those of you, but for those of you that do have the medals and you know, the, the kind of type of equipment that I do, this is how I went about doing it, okay? So the key things to just take note of are A, remember that a said alternates between small and big attacks each turn. 
on the turns that he uses his small attacks are the turns you can use your Kyrie Supernova. Uh, B, you want to make sure that you have a metal that it's preferably early as early as possible in the setup um, that provides just a crap ton of counters so that way you don't have to worry about counters and you can just go full ham on damage uh, on the rest of your setup. Okay, so those are pretty much the biggest takeaways that uh, I needed to mention. In, in this video okay so all right so without further ado go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are in the comment section down below if you were able to beat a said in any other different way please by all means let people know in the comment section down below pretty important okay but other than that if you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way i know when i upload more videos to this one uh, just a small reminder, I do upload other content on the channel besides Kingdom Hearts. They're just throwing that out there. Don't be surprised if you happen to see that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Most likely going to be about Envy because now I have to go fight Envy. <laughs> I'll probably have to make a video discussing how to beat Envy. So I'll see you guys later. You guys take care. Peace y'all.